Alright, hello everybody, Roman here with Basic to Final, and in this video we are looking at the HUD. So, uh, we're sitting here on the Lola, and we've just completed our uh, pre-start bit, and so now we have our IFF CC switch in the middle position. This is what it looks like when we've got our pre-flight bit done. So we will hit enter to exit this mode, and in the bit page, built-in test page, all sorts of bits, and you could run these if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and exit. So at the top is a CCIP, uh, basically symbology, indication, consent. Uh, I will have some text and a few pictures showing what that's all about. We will disregard it for now. Bit page, we could go back in there, but we just got out of there. Okay, so the next one down, AAS, is air-to-air -air submenu. In this menu, you can select the wingspan of the adversary that you will be fighting against for like BFM uh, for the gun funnel so that you can kinda dial that in pretty handy if you're doing something like that we're gonna exit out of there below that is the weapons page and so let's say we just did a hot rearm instead of target practice we now have combat mix uh, we could go through hit enter again and change our ammo type with the data rocker and we could set it to combat mix so that's pretty neat you can always uh, just go through and check make sure that it, you've got this stored properly okay we could mess around with uh, some of the other features but uh, we won't worry about that right now next one down this is what most people will probably would like to take a look at would be the different display modes for the HUD so by default this is what you're gonna get and there's a few things that I'd like to turn on so tapes I like to keep off because I like the default view metric I keep off but I do like the uh, uh, radar altimeter tape on so I'll turn that on airspeed I like indicated airspeed and the Mach number and of course with this one you've got ground speed as well it's kind of neat true airspeed but I think Mach and indicated gives you some uh, good information you could turn on vertical velocity but it's kind of redundant You've got this nice steam gauge right here to help you out with that. IFF's got no function. We will exit. And the last two aren't really uh, too important. So once we've got our HUD set up here, we can just go ahead and left click. And we've got our HUD as everyone's familiar with it. Now you'll notice that uh, underneath our uh, airspeed, we've got a Mach number. That's kind of neat. And down here, 000R, that's our radar altimeter. Uh, it, it will go to 10 uh, once I turn it on on the ground, and then you can see your height above the ground, so that's kind of neat. Uh, lastly, we'll look down here at this panel. If you're doing night ops, you can throw the HUD into night mode, and it basically just changes the color. And if for some reason you need better visibility and the HUD is obscuring your vision, you can just throw it to standby and uh, get some better visibility through your HUD. So that's pretty much it with the HUD. Hope that helps everybody. Kind of neat, uh, fun to go check out some of the sub items in the HUD. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be worth your time. If so, consider helping us out by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. It definitely helps to grow the channel. And again, we appreciate you watching. Thank you.